It's a very common question in public exam that what's the angle between this hour and minute arms in an analog clock. This question came over and over again in almost all public exam. If you know the tricks, you can find out the angle between these two arms within 10 seconds. Yes, within 10 seconds, I will show you how to calculate the angle between these two arms. I am Roby, an educator and filmmaker. If you enjoy it, sit tightly and enjoy it. Let's start with this clock. This clock representing 3 o'clock and 40 minutes. This smaller arm or red color arm is representing the hour and this arm is representing the minutes. So I will apply a small tricks. Tricks is there is two steps to find out this angle in between these two arms. How to find out? First step is we have to multiply the hour by 60. That means three hours. I'm multiplying it 60 and I have to multiply the minutes by 11. That means it is 40 minutes it's 11. Now, what's the result? It is 180 and uh, this is um, 4, 4, 0. And this second step is eliminate the smaller number from the larger number and divided by 2. So, eliminate this smaller number from this larger number. That means 4, 4, 0 minus 180 divided by 2. If I calculate, the result is 130. Yes, this is the degree in between these two arm. That means the answer is 130 degree. It's not it's very simple. Even you can calculate it within 10 seconds. Let's consider the second case. Second case is it's showing one hour. This, this clock is showing one o'clock. That means one hour. One hour and 25 minutes. So according to this formula or according to these tricks, just multiply the hour with 60 all the time and multiply the minutes with 11 all the time. So 60 times on is 60 and 11 times 25 is 275, 275. I have a very tricks how to multiply something with 11. Within 10 seconds, you also can do it. Second step is eliminate the smaller number from the bigger one. Bigger one is 275 minus 60 and then divided by 2 which is equals to if we calculate it which is equals to 107.5 degree yes this is the answer that means the angle between these two arm is 107.5 degree is not it simple okay let's try the case number three case number three this clock is showing <clears throat> three o'clock exactly three hour and zero zero minutes we have to multiply this hour by 60 and multiply this minutes by 11 so 60 times 3 which is 180 and 11 times 0 equals 0 and second step is eliminate the smaller number from the bigger one bigger one is 180 minus 0 whole divided by 2 which is equals to 90 90 degree yes this is the answer look at here this angle is exactly 90 degree is not it simple okay let's see case number four this clock is showing eight o'clock exactly so eight hour and zero zero minutes so according to our tricks we have to multiply the hour by 60 and multiply the minutes by 11. 60 times 8 which is 480 and 11 times 0 which is 0. And then eliminate the smaller number from the bigger one. That means 480 minus 0, 0 whole divided by 2 which is equals to 240 degree. Look at here. This is not the answer. Answer is not here because there is a rules. If this result is more than 180 degree, then there is something another step. Look at here. This angle is represented exactly this side. 
this side is 240 degree but our intended angle is this side what's the total angle of this circle total angle is 360 degree so if i eliminate this 240 degree from this one so that is the expected result that means 360 minus 240 which is equal to 120 degree so this angle is 120 degree this is a clock you can see 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock and so on <laughs> this is pretty much interesting let's consider this is alone if i think two number will be added it will be always 12 let us consider this on 11 plus 1 equals 12 10 plus 2 this is also 12 9 plus 3 this is also 12 if i say 8 plus 4 this is also 12 7 plus 5 this is also 12 only this 6 plus 6 name take from somewhere else and then 12 <laughs> this is really interesting i found something else again <clears throat> if i eliminate this one like minus 12 minus 6 this 2 on result is 6 if i eliminate this 11 minus 5 result is 6 if i eliminate 10 minus 4 this also 6 if i eliminate 9 and 3 this also 6 if i do minus 8 minus 2 that is also 6 if i do 7 minus 1 this is also 6 you saw this analog clock many times in your life have you ever been think this type of consequence could happen if i do plus here let's say 12 plus 1 this way which is 13 11 plus 2 if i plus which is also 13 10 plus 3 this is also 13 9 plus 4 this is also 13 8 plus 5 this is also 13 7 plus 6 this is also 13 <laughs> it's really interesting so um i make it only for fun not for the education purpose if you really feel something good if you real uh, if you really feel something enjoyable i would request to share it with your friend and uh, just enjoy it with your uh, near and dear person and i would request you to subscribe this channel to inspire me to make better content Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for enjoy it. See you all next time. Bye bye.